slow. Hello? 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 Yes, Jitesh? Is that Jitesh? Can you hear me? Hello, I am Moses. Hi, Jitesh. Can we start the session? Sure, sure. Sorry for the delay. Okay, so I hope you just got my material. So in the basic setting we have. Okay, now first of all we just understand the objects we are now going to have. We are now going to create in the system. So here we have um, basic setting notes. Just a minute. Okay. Uh, 
uh, Jitesh, uh, are you familiar with how to set up the SAP logon, logon screen? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Because I'm trying to, they give me some information on like how to add description, application server, afterwards there's instance number, the system ID, what I'm supposed to put on system number, I don't know. Can you just uh, share your uh, uh, screen so that I can just let you know? Oh, no, I'm using my, I'm using my Android phone. So, uh, so for that you need to just log in from your system. I just uh, let you know. Actually here you will have this icon, okay. So when you will just go to the start option. So here you need to just click on the new item. Okay. Okay. After that, just click on the next button. Mm -hmm. So here you will be, you would have been given some uh, description, okay? Like uh, what you need to just write here, application server, number, ID, okay? So that you need to just put here. So the moment you will just enter that information, this finish button will get enabled. It will get activated. You need to just click on this finish button. So what you will see, so here you will see in the first page you will see this option like uh, here we have SAP okay now you need to just click on this SAP logon and system will just open the GUI server for you and what information you need to write so here I think you would you would have been given this information so this is the information you would have been given okay oh, okay okay yes I see it okay now so, I just have to Instance number six six and ID is. Uh, yeah, just give me a minute. Sure, sure. Okay. Then I click next because it's a different. I have a very different uh, interface. I instead of okay, I have next. Yeah, actually, you have a window system or uh, you have the i i uh, this uh, Mac. System. Oh, and I have a uh, Windows 10. Okay. Well, it will, as you can see, as I, as I have, I, I went to the next page, and over there it says Secure Network Settings. Uh, which one? This one? No. When I went to the next screen, uh, when I when I press the next button, it take, mm -hmm. it took me has taken me to Choose Network Setting, and over there it gives me a. Uh, uh, one, uh, two radio buttons and one no, check no, no. I tell you, actually you need to just, uh, when you just enter this information, so this finish button uh, gets enabled or not? Yes, yes. So okay, you need directly, you can, yeah, you can just directly click on this finish button. You are not supposed to again click the next button after filling this information. Okay. Yes, I can now. Okay, now so I have to enter my password and yeah, I'm in. Okay, I understand. Okay, so I once understand. you will have this, so here you will you will have this uh, name here, whatever the name you have given, whether it is the SAP or you can write any name. Okay, in the description you can name you can just give your name also. Okay, so for example, here I have written ABC. Okay. All right, I'm in. I'm now in. it will become ABC. Okay. Now just click on log on, and okay. here you need to just uh, use your credentials. Okay. Credentials. Yes. I'm in. Sure. Okay, so thank you. no problem. So here we have the basic setting, and before uh, creating this object in the system or maintain this information in the system we need to just understand why we have these objects and what is the relevance of this object first of all we have company so company means let's suppose whenever we need to just uh, create any group in the system so that group is known as company in the SAP and whenever we are just going to create any object so 
SAP has given a, prop, a standard length. So the length has been given for that object by the, by the SAP. Now what is that length for the company? So that length for the company is up to the six character could be alphanumeric. You can give the description uh, more than six character, but the code which you will be using for this company, the code you will use to define the this group in the system, so it can be defined up to the six character could be alphanumeric. And definition of this company is optional. It is not uh, mandatory that you have to create the company in the system. Now, how to create? For that, you need to just open this practice sheet. So here you have been given the path. So what is the path? It is saying that you need to just first go to the SPRO enterprise structure definition financial accounting and define company. So we will follow this path. And here if we have the system. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. So here we will just go to the enter SPRO IMG. Now go to the enterprise structure. Go to the definition, financial accounting and here you will find the defined company and Wait, just a minute SPRO sure. SPRO if you just see we have this path so we have just entered SPRO then we have just gone to the enterprise structure definition financial accounting and defined company could you go back once again because uh, I'm sure, okay, sure. So, I so just, just I just yes. close it and open it again. Mm -hmm. So first we'll just go to the enterprise structure. This is the enterprise structure. Okay. First of all, I have to click SPRO or I have to type SPRO on the. Yeah. Here you need to enter SPRO. Okay. So you will have mm -hmm. by default you will have this SAP access screen. Okay. And mm -hmm. I would just uh, advise you if you are just uh, uh, already if you have opened this. Uh, system so kindly just log off okay so just open this after the class because uh, you will just get confused okay so you will be sent a recording session also so mm -hmm. if you just uh, stuck anywhere okay so you can just go through that recording so you will not face any problem okay, okay so okay. here you can just go to the and uh, SPRO okay and uh, here you need to just enter this this is the command command box we have just uh, discussed yesterday so here we will enter SPRO press enter button mm -hmm. or you can just click on the green button okay mm -hmm. so if I just go back here I will write SPRO actually if you want to just go back so we can use a backslash n there are something there are some t code like this backslash n you can just note it down because it is important. If you want to go back to the previous screen, you can use backslash n. Backslash n means quit. You can quit the screen. All right. Shall we move? Yes. So here we'll enter SPRO. Now I'll just press enter button. Okay. Now system will just take us to the customizing screen and we'll just click on IMG button. We'll click on IMG button. So here this is the consultant screen. Okay. So this is the IMG screen. You can just see. Now in this mm -hmm. IMG screen we have we have the option enterprise structure. So this arrow you need to just click on this arrow. Mm -hmm. If you just click on this button, documentation, so the system will just open the uh, theory information for this object, enterprise structure. What do you mean by the enterprise structure? Okay. So it's a organization structure of your business in the SAP R3 system. Okay. And you mm -hmm. can just go through some more information also if you want to. Now, okay. we need to just click on this arrow button. So it will just, uh, we need to just drill down this information. So further it has option like the definition assignment consistency check. So
so we'll just first of all we'll just go to the definition and after in the definition you can define the financial accounting you can just define the objects under the financial accounting under the controlling under the logistics sales and distribution material management because the software is common for all the consultant for all the functional consultant whether uh, he is from from the fi side from the controlling or from the logistic side now mm -hmm. since we we are from the fi side so we'll just go to the financial accounting and if you want to uh, uh, have the information what is this financial accounting so you can just again click on the documentation mm -hmm. so this this icon is for the documentation so it is saying that under the financial accounting we need to just uh, make the setting for the gl accounting account receivable payable because for the asset accounting we have a separate option okay mm -hmm. now we'll just go to the uh, just click, click on this arrow button financial accounting and further you have been given the option that in the fi you can define the objects and these objects objects are define company define credit controlling uh, credit control area define the company code or added copy delete check company code then define the business area functional area maintain the consolidation business area maintain uh, functional management area define segment and profit center so first of all if you want to have some information regarding the group so you can just click on the img documentation if you want to have any theory information it will just give you the information that in this step you can create a company a company is a organization in the accounting which represent the business organization according to the requirement of the commercial law in a particular country so if you want to create now this object so this is the round shape uh, button so it is the it is called activity button img activity button so you need to just click on this img button so here you can just see already there are how many groups already created in the system so 308 groups have been created already in the system why because this is the testing server and students are doing the practice on this server okay so they uh, might have created these many number of groups okay now likewise we can create our own groups also so for that we can just click on the new entry button click on the new entry button and here we have the company name what's your company name hello are you there Yes, yes, I, I put my in uh, new mute button. Okay, so my company company name was I don't know Michael Kors. Okay, no problem. Actually, here we have let's suppose Ericsson Group. Okay, so here we can just take GR GR uh, Ericsson Group. It is GR Eric, or or it can be alphanumeric also. So let it be let it be ER double one. ERC double one and this is the Ericsson group. Do I have to create one like this, like yours? No, you need to just write this information in this practice note. Okay. So here you can just see the blank company name, the blank company ID, country, language. So whatever the uh, information I'll be writing. Okay. So the same information you need to put here. All right. And after the class, you can just take these uh, notes, and you need to just do the practice with reference to these notes. Okay, got it. Now here we have the uh, Ericsson Group International. Let's suppose this is a name we want to give to our group. And here uh, you can just give the state, PO box, and city name. Let's suppose it is New York and country is US, language is English and currency is USD. So here in the uh, SAP we have we have option to define uh, around 235 so here there are 235 countries we have in the system so we can just select the relevant one. So here you can just see the country of comp uh, company we have 235 so out of this we can just go to the relevant one so we have the Australia, Austria and some other so here the code which we are using for the country United States it is US 
it is us so here you can just search also and there is a binocular button also so you can just click on this button and enter mm -hmm. united states so it will take you to the us now we need to just enter only two characters so for this reason we will just enter us likewise you can just select the language also so in the sap there are 43 languages which we can just in which we can just maintain the information so here with this this time we'll just enter the uh, language as english and again for that we need to just enter the code up to two character could be alphanumeric sorry could be uh, alphabet alphabet only and it it and uh, this code has been given by the system by default now mm -hmm. here we have the currency so we can just enter here and likewise we have 218 218 currencies available so we can mm -hmm. just go for the united states so here we have the american dollar so we can just click on save option so this is the save button i hope you have written all this information in your notes yep. okay yes now if you just follow the notes it is saying that now what do you need to do after uh, filling this information you need to save it you need to just click on the save button where is the save button so here you will find the save button this is the back arrow button if you want to go back to the previous menu this is the exit button so if you want to get exited from this uh, screen you can just click on exit option this is the cancel so if you want to just cancel this screen or you want to just uh, uh, delete the data so you can just click on cancel uh, the system will not save any data if you want to take out the printout so you can just uh, use this button and the next button we have the uh, find option if you want to find objects which you have been given and uh, out of this you want to find the relevant object you can just click on this button then again this is to find again and these four buttons are used while accessing the report for example if you want to go to the first page last page next page previous page so you can just use these buttons after that we have the new session so uh, sap allow you to open multiple session now how many mm -hmm. session i can open i can open up to the six session but it it is not mandatory in the in the uh, in every com in every company you will find the system will just have uh, a limit of six ses six session but in some company you will find it eight you will find it nine but normally we find uh, maximum session we find up to six six only now here let's suppose i want to what do you mean by the session so here we can just open the parallel screen and on the each screen on the each screen we can do a different job for example on the first screen i am just creating a uh, object on the second i can just open a report on a another screen i can just view a data on the third screen i can just uh, take out some print out so likewise we can open how many session we can open six uh, dif uh, different screen we can just open and uh, uh, and on the each screen we can do a different job now for example if i just uh, create a new session so this is the this is the session we have on which we are just creating the group for example here i have just created the uh, i have just opened the another session you can just see we have now got again that sap easy access screen so let's suppose i want to open a t code so i am just randomly enter here at obby6 so here you can just see i want to find out that if this group has been created or not so here we have erickson so this group is not created so here again you can just option you can just use this uh, tab option okay if you want to uh, close your session if you have the session which you have open so now you don't require it so here you can just close it also so there is a cross button so this is the cross button you can just see so you can just click on cross button it will get closed now for example here this information you want to save so just click on this save button so every time every time when we just save the information so system will ask us the request number why this request number because we can just have a track uh, we can just have a record who has created what which user has created which object okay so 
this request number the system will ask for this reason only for example uh, tomorrow if I just say that okay I have not created this object but but here system would system will uh, will save every information with a request number with a request number now here I have to provide the information I have to provide the request number so for example if I just give the request number and how I can get this request number so here you have this option create request and what is this logic of this request if you remember yesterday we have discussed the SAP R3 system which has three clients it is presentation it is uh, the the uh, it is it is the uh, presentation application and database or in the uh, or in the other way if I just say it, it is the uh, production production client testing client and and we have the sorry it is the development testing and production client so so whatever the information I have developed in the uh, development server I need to just take it uh, I need to just take it to the next level that is the testing level so with the help of this request number I can ask my technical guy I can ask my technical consultant who is the SAP basis consultant to move it to the next level to move it to the next level so so we'll also see more information for this request number but for the time being we just save it and and here we can just have we can just click on this re create request create request and in the practice sheet also you will find the create request option okay so it is saying that you need to just click on the create request we will enter create request now you need to just provide any information you can give any information for example I have written Ericsson project Ericsson project which project I am working on let's suppose support and click on save option and my work would be on F5 my work would be on F5 now just click on save information automatically system will give you the request number you have you don't need to enter any request number when this request number was created by whom it was created so all this information would be will be saved by the system so here I will just click on the save button so I will just get the new number it is ending with 766 766 where this number will be maintained by the system how I can access it so this we will just discuss later but for the time being I will just click on the enter button so this is the my request number under which I have saved it now for example I want to find out where it has been maintained so you can just see this is the command box now in this command box we can enter again or let's suppose we open a another session and for the another session I will just click on the create session and here I will enter transaction code SC10 if you want to write it down you can just enter this T code it is SE10 10 now press enter button press enter button so for this user or for some other user also let's suppose here I have entered my user ID but if you want to enter somebody else user ID so what are the uh, requests he has created or what are the objects he has created under a different different request number so that you can also view that you can also view and you can also see how many how many requests uh, we have moved to the next level so for example in our case if I need to find out that for the user Jitesh one two for customizing request so we have the workbench request these requests are created by the technical guy by the web consultant but here we focus on the customizing request and any request will have two status so the status would be either modifiable or release would be would be the status would be either modifiable or release so if it is modifiable 
if it is modifiable, which means it means it is on the first level only. It is on the development client level only. So if you want to move it to the next level, so you can just click on the release button. So here we can just click on display. We can view the modifiable request number. You can just see we have created a new request number with the ending with double six. And what is this? This is regarding the creation of this is regarding the creation of project Ericsson FI yeah. support. Okay. So <coughs> if you want to find some more information, so this is the plus sign you can enter. And along with this request number, you want to view some other request number also. So you can just go to these request number also ending with 652-568-340. In your system, you may have some other request number. So you can just explore that. And for example, if I want to find out what uh, information system has in my request number, so I will just click on this plus sign. So here the system will have the information that I have created a company, defined company. So this is step I have taken and that information gets stored in this table T880. Now what is this T880? So here you can just see this is the uh, ID we have created. So Ericsson ERIC11, so this is the code we have used for our object, okay. So this object got saved under this request number and it is, this is for what? This is for company, define company. Mm -hmm. Now further if you have, if you just create some other objects also, so all those objects will get saved under the, under the same request number, under the same request number. Now, if you want some other request number also, so likewise system will just give you another request number like 677, 78, 79 or it could be 780. So for that, the system will just give you a description also and under that you can view the information. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, I'll just go back and again go back. I'll just uh, go back to the IMG screen. So here where we have just maintained the information. Now what next it is asking? It is saying that now you need to just create the company code. It is very important. Actually uh, on uh, every project uh, we will be working. So, so it is important for us to know the information for a single <coughs> object and that object is called company code. That object is called company code. What is this company code? So here it is saying that we have the definition of this company code available in the system. So it is saying that it is the organizational organization. unit in the financial accounting for which we will just follow the accounting books or we follow the books of accounting and this information will be maintaining for the external reporting. So we will be preparing the financial statement, we will be preparing the profit and loss balance sheet, uh, cash flow statement and all the other information we will maintain for this company code only. And if you want to define this company code in the system, so you have to provide the country, currency, language and we can define this object up to how many character, up to the four character and it can be alphanumeric. So it is saying that whenever you are going to create the company code in the system, so it is mandatory that you should give the country code, currency and language. Why it is important? Because let's suppose we take example, we have four company codes. So let's suppose we have four company codes, let it be, this is the company code, we have four code, I am just taking as company code and we have country, currency mm -hmm. and language. Now, so uh, based on this four, we get create a code. Yeah, correct. So for example, we have company code 1000, 2000, right. 3000, 4000 right. and this 1000 I have created my company based out of US, currency is USD, language is English. 
then I have also another company but not in this country but in the another country let it be UK and currency is uh, Euro or oh sorry GBP and languages again English then we also have a company in Germany so we have mm -hmm. just used the country code as GDE currency as Euro and language is DE German language then we have a, likewise we have one company uh, in Canada so we have used the country code Canada and currency Canadian currency and the language is let's suppose English language so why we have given this option so here let's suppose this is the basic setting we have set up in the system now for this 1000 if I enter some other country if I enter some uh, while entering the data while uh -huh. entering the data if I use the UK or if I use India so what the system will consider system will consider that country as a foreign country as mm -hmm. foreign country likewise in place of USD uh, at the time of uh, uh, doing the data entry if I use uh, INR if I use GBP if I use Euro Canadian dollar so all these currencies will be considered by the system as a foreign currency. Why? Because our local currency is USD. So your company code currency is called local currency. Your company code currency is called local currency. So all the financial report, all the information you will have in this company code only, in this currency only, that is USD. Why? Because this, this company, this currency, we have defined at which level? At a company code level at a company code level okay All right fair enough so yeah. we will just go back to the SAP screen and we will just go back this time we will be creating the company code now here you need to just move to the added copy delete check company code and if you just check the path it is saying that path is same you need to you don't need to just change the path path is same but this time you will have a different option so we need to just go to the added copy delete check company code so here we'll just click on the added copy delete check company code so this is the, again IMG activity button we'll just click on now here mm -hmm. you will have two options whether you need to just click on copy delete check or added company code so here if you want to copy the data from your existing uh, company code so here you can just click on the copy option so for example in the system you have already a company code and you want to just copy the data of that particular company code for creating the new company code so in the, in this case you can follow this step otherwise if you want to create a, a new company code altogether so we can just go back to the added company code option and create the new one so here you can just see this round so here you can just see system is just asking from which existing company code you want to take you want to copy the information so we have these company codes okay so these many company codes are already in the system 328 so let's suppose I want to take the information from 0001 and I want to create my own it is Ericsson it is Ericsson but but in this case what what the system will be doing system will copy all the data to Ericsson but that we don't require so we want to create our own so for that you can just go back and double click on the added company code data double click on added company code data so like here you can just see there are already 328 records in the system which means there are already 328 company codes defined in the system we can create the another one 329 and that would be Ericsson so for that you can just see we have been given these buttons so we have the detail button so for any existing uh, object if you want to go back go if you want to explore uh, some more information so for example for this triple zero one you want to find out more information so keep cursor on that object and or company code and click on this detail button click on detail or magnifier lens here it has been given so you can just click on this so it, you will be given the uh, information that the company name is SAP AG and city is Waldorf and country currency language it is a DE euro and again DE then if you want to explore some more information so this is the address button 
you can just click on this address button, white color button. So here uh, the information has not been maintained. So this is the reason it is coming blank. Now you can just exit the screen and if you want to create the new one. So here we'll just again go back to the so for example you want to copy the uh, existing company code for your company code. You want to delete any object. Okay, so these are the main uh, buttons we use. And if you want to create the new company code, so you can just click on the new entry data. Click on new entry. Now here we have the company code. We have to define the company code up to how many character we can define it up to the four character. So let it be Ericsson and it is the Ericsson company private limited let it be Ericsson manufacturing private limited city is New York again same thing country is US currency language English and currency is USD now at this time you can just click on the address button and enter some more information for example for example I want to give the name of this uh, company code as Ericsson once again manufacturing private limited and let's suppose here it is manufacturing of automobile automobiles or or mobile phones mobile phone now if you want to find out this so in the search criteria you can enter Ericsson you can enter Ericsson and then 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 we have the address button so let it be let it be 2000 James Park Street first floor New York City country uh, US so you can enter more information like the PO box, postal code, telephone, ID, fax now just click on enter button it is saying that you have entered the information more than 25 characters. Okay, ignore it. We can do it. Now just click on save button. So this information will get saved. So here again system has just given you uh, basis on your basis basis on your information. System has given you the time zone. So it is saying that you have since you have mentioned the city as New York. So accordingly system has just given you the time zone as CST. Now just click on again green button enter and again you can just see we have this request number 766 press enter button press enter button so this is how we have created two objects one is the company another is the company code now what next we need to do we need to just link these two objects so I, I hope you this information you have written in your notes so you can just see we have we have created the company code name city country language currency we have given after that we get, we just click on save button and it is saying that we can just give the country code as US that we have already given and after that we have step number 1.3 it is saying that you need to just assign the company code to the company you need to assign the company code to the company and for that we have been given the path also it is SPR or enterprise structure and assignment financial accounting assigned company go to the company so we can go back so this is the back option and this is the task we can just cancel now because it is completed now now we are in the definition we are in the definition now we can just come out from the definition and go to the assignment so this is the assignment option you have click on this assignment go to the financial accounting and here you will find the assign company to the company you will find assign company go to the company click on this 
Now you can just see again how many company codes are there? 329. So one more has been added by system. That is yours. Now just click on position button and find out your company code. Let it be Ericsson. Let it be ERIC Ericsson. Now what is the group name? What is the group name? The group name is ERIC double one. So that group name you need to enter here and then click on save option. Click on save option. Again the request number will be given. Press enter button. Press enter button. Now this company code has been added by a system under the request number and assignment has been added. So what you can do? So again you can just on a different screen, on a different screen you can view this development. You can view this change. So again you can just, if you just go to the 666, now you can just see there are three things we have done. Earlier only system was just showing you define company. So so you don't need to come to this screen and see every time. Okay, so this is not our job. So yes, we need if you want to explore the information, so that information we can just flow from this transaction code or this from this screen. Now it is saying that you have created the company code. What is the company code? Table data you have. So you can just see 800 is your client. 800 is your client and for this client you have created the uh, company code it is Ericsson ERIC it is Ericsson ERIC now for this company Ericsson what you have done apart from defining it you have also assigned it so accordingly we can just go to the assignment so we can just see this Ericsson has been assigned to the group Okay, so whatever you are doing, so each and everything is getting recorded, is getting recorded and it will be, it will be uh, recorded in the form of a tree and the tree you can just explore later on and let's suppose whatever you have uh, uh, done, so you want to get it moved to the next level, so you can just uh, take it to the next level client level or you can it can be testing level or production level now now here we can just again we can just again go back to the pre, uh, screen we have for the company goal now whatever the information I have maintained so far I want to view it I want to view it so for that what you can do so this is the backslash and sign to just quit the screen I will enter this and and here you can just write the uh, T code it is OBY6 again you can just note it down this T code you can just note down it is OBY6 action code is OBY6 press enter button OBY6 yeah here you can just note, uh, see this is the T code I have written OBY6 this is the T code we have. Now right. just click on position and it is asking for the company code that you need to just remember it is Ericsson. And for the Ericsson you want to find the information so just click on the detail button so you can just see we have created a company code it is Eric and the name of this company code is Ericsson Manufacturing PLC and city is New York, country key is US, currency is USD and language is English. It has been assigned to the group ID Ericsson double one. Ericsson double one. Now we can maintain some more information. For example, we can just maintain information for chart of account, fiscal year variant, posting period variant, business area. So what are all these information so that we can just go one by one. So here if you think today for today it is sufficient so we can just conclude with this otherwise we can just continue. Okay, so it's, it's sufficient. Uh, could you send me the recorded video today? Sure actually after the class you will be uh, you, you will be received a record, recording uh, session from the training desk only. Okay, so you will get a email ID from the train desk, so they will just send you the uh, recording, okay. 
in case you uh, you don't get this recording so you can just write a single line uh, mail that and just uh, send me the today's recording so accordingly they will send but by without any fail they just send it to you on a daily basis okay uh, yes I didn't get your recorded session for yesterday yesterday oh. okay actually uh, Okay, you want the yesterday session? Oh, if you if you don't want to send, that's fine. Okay, just no, no, no. Session. Actually, I just check. I'll just check if it is with me, or I just ask the train desk to share with you. Okay. All right. That's fine. actually I was just recording today's session, so I just check if I have recorded yesterday session or not, because that was the last class. So, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> that was the first class. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just check, okay. So if I will have the recording, definitely I'll just send it to you across. Okay. okay. So I think so. With this, we'll just conclude. So whatever we have done, once again, I'll just brief you. We today we have just created a group, and the name of the group is known as Company in the SAP. And for this group, we have given the city, country, language, currency. And we have created this, these uh, objects, these uh, de definition and assignment. We have done, done. We have, uh, we have maintained in the system with the help mm -hmm. of request number. And that request number we can create. When we can save, we can view. So uh, after that, we have just created the company code. So company code is a legal entity. It is a organization unit. And for this, we will just follow the books of accounting. We will follow the books of accounting for the external reporting. External reporting to whom? External reporting to the government, shareholder, investor, banker, or whosoever having the vested interest in the company. So if he wants to know the the uh, the day-to-day -day business activity, so what is the what is the uh, profitability for that company? What are the uh, what is the state, what is the uh, cash liquidity for that company? So all that information he will be able to he will be able to receive if we have maintained the company code in the system. Now uh, this company code we need to just attach with the group. So this is what we have done for today. Okay. okay? So these are the three steps we have done. But if, what you can do? So after uh, now, I think you got this SAP GUI screen with you. So what you yes. can do, you can just explore it. You can just play around. Okay. So for example, what you have under the accounting, so that you can just explore. What are the option you have, and enter those option. For example, if you just go to the general ledger, what you will, what the system will display you. Okay. So for example, if I just click on this button, what it will just display me. So all that you can just do it, okay? And for example, if I just quit, and if I just enter here SPRO, I want to get the consultant fee. So here, what option I have under FI, under SD, under MM, under some other so module we can just find, okay? All right. So you can just uh, I would just advise you to do some navigation practice today, and cover the steps we have done okay or try to do these steps and uh, tomorrow now we will just meet to continue the next step okay next object we have it is the business area define okay. business area okay all right, right Moses okay thank you bye all right then good night bye bye